Here we have a number written in scientific notation and we're supposed to put it back into standard notation. Scientific notation is really useful when you're dealing with numbers that are really big or really small like scientists often have to do when they're looking at the distances between stars or the width of an atom. And the way they do it is they take a number that's between 1 and 10, so 3.46, that's between 1 and 10, and then they multiply it by either a power of 10 with a big exponent like 3 or a power of 10 with a really small exponent like a negative 7 or something like that. And they can get really big and really small numbers and write it in this compact form. So how do you convert this back to standard notation? Well, it's, this number is exactly what it says. It's 3.46 times 10 to the third. Well, 10 to the third is 10 times 10 times 10, and that's 1,000. So this number is 3.46 times 1,000, and if you uh, punch that in your calculator, you'll get 3,460. And that's our answer. There is kind of a shorthand way to do this that comes in really handy. If you want to convert to standard notation from scientific notation, and you've got a positive exponent like this, you're just going to move the decimal point to the right as many spaces as the exponent. So in this case, we're going to move it three spaces to the right. One, two, three. And you notice I've got a blank space here. You just fill that in with a zero, and that's where your new decimal point goes. So you can see we get 3,460. So that's a little bit of work with scientific notation.